You can bet your bottom dollar. Great programming coming up next on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Stand by. Hold on. Talk at its finest, coming up next on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. In about two minutes, stand by. guys are talking about stand by a great show coming up next on the Stuart media and entertainment network in about 30 seconds stand by don't go away stop 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 If they're talking about it at the barbershop, we're talking about it here on SME. Great show coming up in about 30 seconds. Don't go away. Stand by. It's time. Sit back, relax, and enjoy another great product on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Yeah! I think Dabble will bring a national championship to Clemson. It's Clemson. about them. It's, it's about the game of football, man. I'm getting my chill fake cut, bold aggressive flash show. Let's get into these sports with our favorite sports reporter. Turn it all the way out. The, 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 the alpha male. Woo! Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the bat rails in your mouth. Woo! Bring them out, bring them out. 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 Um, honestly, about Kobe Bryant, I used to hate the dog shiggity out of this guy. I could not stand Kobe Bryant. I hated him. Jordan is, is of course, the all-seeing, all-reigning ruler of basketball in, in ever. Bas- I mean, basketball would be nothing without Michael Jordan. We- I think we still be wearing Converse in short, 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 really short shorts if it wasn't for Michael Jordan. The Alpha Male. Bring them out, bring them out. Yes, 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 yes. Woo wee. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you already know what time it is. It is me, he is I, and I am him, I am he that they call the Alpha Male. It is seven, six. 2016, but for those who don't understand the digits, July 6, 2016, two days past the 4th of July. Hopefully, everybody had a great 4th of July. Um, I uh, hope everybody had a good Independence Day. I'm, I'm, I'm really I'm really excited, uh, a little sore. Uh, I'll definitely explain to you guys why I'm sore after the 4th of July. I don't think I told you guys about it last week, but uh, I definitely will be uh, letting you guys know how my 4th was, what I did for the 4th of July. Um, 
Uh, definitely, I'm also going to be letting you guys know what's going down one week from today. Yes, one week from today, something very big. I have a very big announcement. I'm going to reveal it. Of course, uh, I think towards the, towards the end of the show, I'll be uh, letting you guys know. But, of course, on tap today, man, we got a lot of stuff to talk about today. I definitely want to talk to you guys about free agency, NDA free agency, um, a lot of big stuff happened. I think I got to eat some crow, too. I think I have to eat some crow. Um, if you don't know what eating crow is, it's eating your words or just, you, you know what I mean? You get, you get the picture. <laughs> so, uh, we definitely got to talk about that. Of course, we're also going to be talking about, uh, a little bit of baseball, you know, a little bit of baseball today, talking about the, uh, MLB all-star game, uh, that's going to be coming up next week to Monday and Tuesday. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, or Sunday, Monday, yeah, probably Monday and Tuesday. Monday is always kind of the the uh, home run derby, and then of course Tuesday is definitely the actual All Star game. So we're definitely going to be talking about that today. Uh, got a couple top fives for you guys today, as well as questions from my partner, Little Bighorn. You know, he always steps in the building with me. Uh, so. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, you already know what time it is. It is me. He is I, and I am him. I am he that they call the Alpha Male. Thank you guys once again for tuning in to Alpha Male Sports on SME, Stewart Media Entertainment. Man, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm extremely grateful to be here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, there's nothing more. I just, it's nothing more gratifying to, than to be where people actually appreciate you. Uh, I definitely can appreciate. Uh, the SME family, and also, man, I cannot wait for uh, the SME weekend. I think that's what that, I, I'm pretty sure that's what Doug calls it, the SME weekend, uh, September 9th through the 11th. Uh, I'm gonna be in there. I ain't gonna front you, man. I'm gonna be up in there turnt than a mug. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be up in there turnt. Uh, like I said, I'm the youngest. I'm probably like the youngest uh, out of the entire SME family. So I'm definitely excited about that, man. I I, I can't wait to join you guys. Yeah, and, and that's just how we rocking. All right, so back to uh, the, the 4th of July. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to Alpha Male Sports. Real quick, guys, this segment is brought to you by none other than my folks over at Effect Fitness. If you guys are, you know, well, it's too late. To uh, it's too late to try to shed off some summer pounds, but I think you guys can't get a head start on next summer. So if you really, if you're really serious about you know losing weight, getting yourself in shape, or just a whole new body or a whole new lifestyle change, man, make sure you guys check out Dooley Reggie Ball over at Effect Fitness. I'm telling you, these guys got the remedy. They got the remedy. They probably got the fountain of youth over there. Trust me. They got some. They it's 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 wonderful over there. So make sure you guys check those guys out. Okay. Now, uh, to my Fourth of July, you know my 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 Fourth of July weekend started somewhat around Friday of last week. I was working, of course. I I, I work a lot. You know what I'm saying. Other than doing SME or doing Alpha Male Sports on SME, I, I work a lot. But of course, my Fourth of July started last Friday. Uh, went out with a couple friends, had a few drinks and whatnot. You know, just just set the mood right, if you will. Uh, but I couldn't do much. I couldn't do a lot of drinking. I couldn't do a whole bunch of that stuff because I was actually getting ready for something on the 4th of July. Uh, it was actually the Peachtree Road Race. Yeah, yeah, the Peachtree Road Race. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the Peachtree Road Race, uh, it is a road race here in Atlanta. Um, it's it's uh, only, it's, it's, it's a 10K, so really it's about 6.1 miles. Um, uh, this is my second year doing the Peachtree Road Race, and and I'm and I'm really trying to make that somewhat of a tradition with my family. Uh, my sister and I did it for the first time last year. Um, this year we included my younger brother, which was pretty cool. That was fun to have my younger brother there with me, and and so now, uh, next year I definitely want to try to bring in my brother-in-law and possibly my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> I don't think she's up for it, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to convince her that it's actually more fun than she may think. Uh, you know, a lot of people that I was telling when I was said I was doing the Peachtree Road Race, it was like, aren't you going to be hot? Oh my gosh, it's going to be so hot. Oh my gosh. So I was like, you know, I did it before. Now, I, let me tell you this before I go any further. Last year in 2015, and you're listening to Alpha Male Sports people, um, last year in 2015, it was wet, rainy. It was literally like just a huge thunderstorm that went on during the Peachtree Road race. So when that happened, I was kind of afraid that I wasn't going to be able to run. I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm not going to be able to do it. But I did it anyway. 
Uh, it was extremely wet. Uh, my phone got wet. My keys got wet. Everything got wet. My martyr card got wet. Everything got wet. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't, it wasn't as enjoyable as it was this year. This year, I think it was more enjoyable because the sun was out. Everybody was out having fun. Nobody was, you know, it was just, there were no problems, there were no issues. And best believe the military, uh, national security, national guard, whatever, former security, even, 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 uh, even <laughs> like unarmed security was out there. Like it really was a, a great event. And I was very happy to see that everybody was well taken care of because obviously this could have been a, 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 a an easy situation for somebody to, to come in and, and possibly uh, we have another massacre. I, I, I'm not speaking that I wouldn't want that, but that's, I mean, I'm just saying, guys, let's be real. We live in America. We have the biggest targets on our back. But anywho, uh, I do want to let you guys know about how I did. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just tell somebody, ooh, I ran a race, and somebody be like, well, how did you do? So I, I'm going to say right now I'm not pleased with my timing. I'll say this much. This time last year, I was in way better shape. Um... Uh, I was about close to 10 pounds lighter, all right? Right now, I'm about 240 pounds. Last year, I was around 230. Swear on everything. I was around 230. So this year, I'm not really proud of what I did, but I'm kind of... Uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of being what's what's the word transparent here. I'm trying to be transparent so that you guys can see that I'm 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 dedicated now more than ever to get back to where I was. I got so complacent last year. I was I was what they call t-shirt sexy. I was t-shirt sexy. I mean that's that's being simple to plain. You know, when your t-shirt sexy, you can throw on a t-shirt, you can hide the rolls, you can hide the 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 side boob and you be good to go. You know what I'm saying? So, so definitely, man. I I, I gotta let you guys know what my results were. Overall, uh, there was about sixty thousand people in the Peachy Road race. Approximately five fifty six thousand nine hundred and thirteen. Out of that, I placed number three thirty three thousand nine hundred and sixty sixth. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I I guess that's good. I'm kind of like in the middle of the pack almost, like. Dead center, almost in the middle of the pack, almost. So, not really complaining about that. Uh, overall, out of all the males, there were 28,237 males in the Peachtree Road Race this year. I placed 19,415th. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, uh, they had a small, they had a short category of males with uh, between the ages of 25 to 29. Uh, there were 2,283 of us. I placed 1,747. Yes, yes, yes. So, um, take 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 all of that how you want it. You know, that's uh, I guess I guess I'm kind of like middle of the pack, but I don't want to be there. I really don't want to be middle of the pack. I really want to try to get through that point. Okay. Now, uh, I said that I was going to give you guys the 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 time or whatnot. The time I, I gave you guys where I placed. Now I'm going to tell you the time. I actually I started at 8:26 in the morning here in Atlanta. Uh, my 5K split, or where I basically uh, broke 5K. That was around 36 minutes and one second. So that was pretty good. That was actually, I was actually on pace uh, to, to do my regular, but I swear on everything, guys. At some point around that 5K mark, my legs really started to tighten up. In every sense of the word, my legs started to tighten up. But I finished one hour and 24 minutes. One hour and 24 minutes. So, of course, that's a 13, that's a 13 13 minute and 36 second mile. 13 minute, 36 second mile. I want to get that down to about 10 minutes per mile. That's where I was last year. Last year, I actually ran, well, I'm not going to say 10 minute mile, but last year, I was at 110. An hour and 10 minutes. This year, I want to get down. Uh, this year, I was at 124. So, that's a 14 minute difference. Uh, and I can account for that 14 minutes. Literally, ladies and gentlemen, I, somewhere around that five. 